Day three. When God created Adam, he placed him in the garden. This speaks to God's presence. Adam was also made in God's image. This speaks of identity. Before Eve came into his life, God gave Adam a job. It was to take care of the garden and name the animals. It was not a very high paying job, but it provided him with a place to live and food to eat, food to eat, and it kept him busy. Maybe that's why he did not feel alone because he was not because he was not idle. God had tell him to look for a wife. That's God's way of doing relationships. If you want a spouse, get a job. It does not have to be your dream job, but something that occupies your mind, keeps you productive, and puts money in your bank account. Work came before the fall of man. Work did not come as a result of curse. Having a job keeps you occupied, which keeps you with overcoming temptation. There is a big difference between Joseph and David. One of the reasons one fell into sexual sin and the other one overcame it was this issue of idleness. Joseph went to, went to the house to do his work. He was not idle. He did not have time for flirting with Pomfer, Pom, Potiphar's wife. David instead, or er, David instead of going to battle, stayed home and slept all day. He had a difficult time resisting the temptation to look at a naked woman and ended up committing sin, Bathsheba. That's why God wants you to grind, work hard, and hustle. It helps you with your holiness, develops your maturity, and prepares you to pay for your wedding and lead you to marriage. When you read the Bible, you will see that God never called lazy and idle people into the kingdom. Moses was working for his father when he got called. Elisha was also working while being called. Peter and John were fixing nets when they were called. If you want to get ready for a marriage, get a calling, get a job. Genesis 2.15 Genesis 2, 19 and 20. Colossians 3, 23. And that's the end of part three.